Right, I got a program. It's called Printmaster Gold. Okay, it's Printmaster Gold 18. And you can buy it online and down, uh, and actually order the disc, uh, which I would recommend because if you change uh, computers, you want to be able to take the program with you. It's a fairly easy program to use. It takes a little learning curve, but, uh, and there it is, Ghost Hands. I named it because uh, I want to be able to pull it up the next time I need it, and this just shows you the hands and what I did was I I have a scale over here on the side and uh, I believe that's inches but I'm not certain anyway I took a measurement with my calipers and I matched that size with the inch measurement on the side here I think what I'll do if some you know if I got enough people that are interested in knowing how to use this program to do this sort of thing, scaling and stuff like that. Uh, maybe I'll make a video just of how to use it because it is a little complicated. I've been working with it for years and uh, because of that, I'm a little more experienced at it. So as you can see, I've got the hand and because I'm gonna be doing more than one hand, I've, I've done all the hands that I'm going to do and that way I've got a clean sheet of paper to do the uh the hands on in the wax all right let's go sculpt this and i took some hand drawings off the internet and i sized them to the figure that i'm working on or the figures and i think i got it just about perfect as far as the hand size goes so what i'm going to do so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take wax because i I, I was thinking about casting these and how much trouble that's going to be with clay uh, for the mold maker to try to make a mold that uh, will well stand up with the uh, mold making process using clay. Clay is really soft and wax will harden a little bit. So I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is, is start making some hands. I'm softening up my wax right now and I'm going to come back to this as soon as I get uh, the uh, wax softened enough to uh, work with it. I'm going to redo the hands for the uh, the one figure I did yesterday uh, because I want to keep them all uniform as far as uh, size and uh, the fact that they're wax. Still going to need an armature that's why I'm going to do this. I've never done this before, so I don't know if it's going to work or not. It's worth a try. Looks pretty good. <clears throat> uh, got the heat on too. It's not exactly warm outside. Okay. I'm not going to put a wrist on it because I may want to bend the hand. And if I have a wrist on it, it'll make it harden for me to do that. Always fun to work small. <laughs> I don't want 
I'll make the fingers too small uh, because uh, then it'd be hard to, to cast. And you always got to keep it in mind the casting process. I gotta get the light in the right position here so I can see what I'm doing. working pretty good so far. Yeah, I couldn't sleep last night because I kept thinking about the casting process of this thing. I don't want to make it so prohibitive in cost that nobody can buy it. Okay. That looks really good, actually. Let's do the thumb. Wow, that works nice. Yeah, I'm happy with that. One way to keep fingers all the same size is just roll out one big long roll and cut your fingers from that. Yeah, I'm going to attempt to paint the hands only because uh, this paint is so dried out that I don't think I will be able to. But we'll try. Oh, it's working okay.
I better go to the hardware store tomorrow and get some new paint. Yeah, it came out pretty good. I am happy with it. All right, that's going to be it for this week, and I'll pick this up uh, next week. Good night, everybody. Have a great weekend.